Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and uh, another year over, and uh, a new one uh, about to begin. <laughs> yes, uh, 2023, the fourth year of the 2020s decade, I think we can all agree, has been the best year of this decade. Thankfully, it's had, uh, we've had the least uh, uh, COVID problems this year, the COVID pandemic, well, officially no longer being a global pandemic. So uh, COVID has not interfered with movies this year in any way, shape or form. Uh, so uh, this has been the best year for cinema since 2019. And uh, if uh, you are wondering uh, where I got this uh, uh, super awesome YouTuber shirts are from, it was from my uh, wonderful godmother, Stephanie, uh, for uh, technically for my birthday, and uh, she also, for my birthday, most generously got me this, uh, these Odeon gift uh, cards, uh, to, so I can now uh, have uh, uh, multiple uh, trips to Odeon on, on, a, on a day when I uh, have nothing to do, I can just walk to uh, my local cinema myself, so uh, thank you uh, to my godmother, I I uh, love you uh, so much. You are just the best, uh, moi. And uh, yeah, uh, and and uh, 2023 uh, does uh, have well uh, a ton of movies that I loved. Well, far more movies this year that I loved than 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 Hayes's, uh, and that's what we like to see. So uh, I could have made this a top 15. There were so many I loved because I uh, it was. Uh, it was a uh, near impossible to narrow it down to just uh, 10 picks, uh, but I managed to. So I, without further ado, if you want to know my uh, top 10 favourite movies of uh, this year, then just keep watching. But first, uh, let's get to my honourable mentions. Uh, movies that would have made this list had this been a top 15. Uh, Megan, I did uh, a tad uh, overhyped this, uh, but uh, would but still love it and would now race it four stars. Blue Beetle, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Oppenheimer, The Marvels, and uh, finally Wish. Oh, it, I wanted to put li Wish in the top 10, I really did. Uh, but shame on those people who put it on their top 10 worst movies of 2023, because I have seen several people do that, including Jeremy Jordan's. I'm like, uh, Wish is not even close to the worst animated movie of 2023. Did you see... Uh, a certain movie from DreamWorks. So now with all the honourable mentions are done, let's get to uh, the top 10. At number 10, Scream 6. I mean, talk about a new high for the Scream franchise. Scream 6, I now wish was the uh, finale because this uh, would uh, have been a, uh, a stupendous finale. Uh, now that's uh, uh, Paramount wrongly uh, fires Melissa Barra, who plays Sam from Scream 7, might as well cancel Scream 7 altogether if there is going to be no Sam and Tara, because these are sisters, uh, are like the glue that holds the Scream franchise together. I mean, the fifth and sixth movies have been like the, the, uh, reboots, uh, that's, uh, that will uh, help us forget, so the, a previous three underwhelming Scream sequels. This is also the greatest horror flick to ever take place in New York, and uh, uh, it's uh, just, uh, it's not only got to the uh, unbreakable uh, and inseparable bond between the sisters, a more threatening and more complex ghost face uh, than ever, uh, the most uh, spine-chilling uh, kills of the franchise, uh, the uh, highest stakes of the franchise, yeah. Sorry Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, you uh, tried your best, uh, but uh, there's no way uh, you uh, uh, could uh, hope uh, to compete with uh, uh, this uh, hot horror gem. At number nine, uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie. At long last, we have a masterpiece from Illumination. I didn't think that day was ever going to come. Took them 13 years, but uh, 
but they and Nintendo gave us the uh, uh, Mario movie that uh, we have been waiting for, and and it more than makes up for uh, the garbage um, Mario movie from uh, the nineties. I mean, uh, when you have uh, Jack Black as Bowser performing Peaches, 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 ah love you i mean uh yeah that's uh uh song became a global phenomenon uh fast and you can see why and uh, i mean anya taylor joy as a uh, peach and elevated peach from the uh, typical damsel in distress to uh, a far more kick-ass peach and uh uh even uh though uh, Chris Press as uh, Mario uh, is uh, the uh, weakest member of the cast. Uh, he could have sounded far worse. And uh, but, but Charlie Day as uh, Luigi uh, certainly m made up for uh, Chris Pratt's uh, pathetic attempts at an, at an Italian accent. But uh, I mean, the animation is the most vibrant I have ever seen from Illumination. I mean, it's... Uh, it nails the tone and look of the Mario Nintendo games as much as uh, the HBO Max uh, Last of Us series this year nailed uh, the look and, and tone of that game. Uh, and it uh, totally zooms faster than a, a speed booster on, on Rainbow Road over a pace uh, and a runtime at uh, an hour and uh, 30 minutes. And, uh, and the action scenes that are uh, tremendous from Mario versus Donkey Kong's the exhilarating Rainbow Road chase. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, finally a video game uh, movie uh, that, that has made my top 10 list. I mean, I, I never thought I would see the day. At number eight, uh, the, uh, at number eight, uh, the first DCU movie we received uh, this year, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, um, the uh, hugely underrated uh, sequel to uh, one of the most uh, beloved DCU installments, uh, 2019 Shazam! Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, this movie, I don't care what everybody thinks it does, uh, well, outdoes its predecessor in every single way. I uh, defend the decision to make to have the Shazam Lee be in their superhero forms more than in their kid forms because uh, why wouldn't you want to see more of them being superheroes you would complain there wouldn't be enough action in the movie if uh, if that uh, wasn't the case so and uh, the the uh, daughters uh, of Atlas uh, uh, making for some of the greatest uh, movie villains uh, of a uh, Th this year and uh, yeah I Lucy Liu uh, she uh, uh, slays in in this movie on top of her uh, Godzilla sized a uh, dragon and uh, uh, and the and this movie made me uh, fall in love with Skittles again particularly with Darla's moment with the Skittles and the unicorns you will know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie and I mean and uh, and, and to see Wonder Woman again at the very end uh, has uh, me uh, applauding uh, like a freaking crazy. Uh, so uh, yeah, I wish this one did uh, loads better at the box office than it did. At number seven, yes, I am going to be the only one that places uh, this movie on my top 10 list but to screw it Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Okay let's address the elephant in the room. Is this movie lesser than the first Aquaman? Yes but it's only weaker for me because there's less mirror in, in it. So, I mean had Amber Heard scenes not uh, not have been cut and if she was in it as much as the first movie this could have been on this could have been on par if not better than its predecessor but uh, still for the moments that amber did get so uh, well uh had uh, my uh 
jaw dropping all the entire time in, in the cinema. Mero in this movie proved her to be a, a, a wonderful mother and uh, uh, and, and she uh, totally uh, showed uh, uh, the boys uh, how it's done in the action. Oh, and uh, you will get a carrot uh, that uh, is uh, the uh, closest uh, thing to a live action Larry the Lobster from Spongebob in this movie. James Wong continues uh, to blow our socks off with his cutting edge underwater visuals and design for uh, uh, the Aquaman uh, world and uh, and the uh, Arthur and Orm brother quest story was uh, what, what uh, the story needed to uh, uh, fully uh, uh, resolve uh, their uh, conflicts uh, as uh, siblings. Uh, so, so yeah, I don't think this movie deserves any of the controversies that it's getting and I'm so thankful it's surpassing the low box office predictions. It looks like it's going to be the highest grossing DC movie this year. We've had more DC movies this year than Marvel. I mean, how awesome is that? At, nu at number... At number six, I did not think this would be my favourite of the four uh, DC masterpieces uh, this uh, year, but uh, The Flash, I mean, uh, yeah, I uh, don't think James Gunn was kidding at all when he said The Flash was one of the greatest superhero movies ever made. He was being dead serious, and I fully agree with him there. I mean, this uh, uh, movie deserves uh, to uh, go down as an instant classic. I mean, even though some say it bombed, I think it's a. Uh, I think it did all right in in theaters through it with its run, and uh, I mean Ezra Miller. If this is the last time we're ever going to see him in a movie, then he uh, went out uh, uh, with a bang in uh, a uh, uh, moving performance, which showed a uh, uh, Barry trying to do the right thing and save his mother but uh, making a universe where there's no way the heroes can win in the process. And um, I mean, the bond between Barry and his mother in this movie is one of the uh, most uh, beautiful storylines I have ever seen in a DCU film, period. And that's what made it all the more relatable to me. Sasha Kale as a Supergirl uh, rocks uh, uh, across the boards a year. She uh, is uh, the perfect female uh, counterpart to Henry Cavill's Superman, and Michael uh, uh, Keaton has uh, uh, got still got all his mojo as the Cape Crusader coming out of retirement. And uh, yeah, uh, this this uh, is uh, a, a movie that uh, we have wanted uh, for so long. We finally got it, and uh, and it's uh, not only lived up to my expectations, uh, it surpassed them. At number five, uh, again, I don't know many other top ten lists that would include this one, but uh, Ruby Gilman's Teenage Kraken, most underrated DreamWorks movie, most underrated animated movie this year, and uh, maybe the most underrated movie this year in general. A uh, a a, 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 a wonderful original uh, work from DreamWorks that should have spawned uh, the next uh, huge uh, franchise. I mean, I would have been all for a Ruby Gilman 2 and 3 and even a TV series and or even uh, a director video Christmas uh, special. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I mean, yes, it's uh, just uh, turning red with Krakens, but uh, who cares, uh, because uh, it does uh, this mother and daughter story just as well, with uh, with Ruby uh, uh, learning uh, who she can trust and uh, who she can't in the world, and uh, the uh, concept of, uh, of Krakens uh, blending in as uh, humans is uh, so genius, uh, the, to the the mermaid and kraken war having a shrek like a spin on the tail where the kraken is good and the mermaid is bad as uh, and uh, uh, and this uh, 
yeah, this movie uh, really deserved a way more uh, appreciation. I it's about time we saw a DreamWorks uh, uh, blockbuster where with more women uh, behind it and more women in, in the lead roles. Uh, so uh, yeah, this uh, should be uh, the the perfect uh, w way forward for the studio. And this uh, is the most I've enjoyed a DreamWorks uh, movie since How to Train Your Dragon 3 The Hidden World four years ago. So yeah, don't see Trolls 3, just stick with Ruby Gilman instead. That's a number four, a Pixar's Elemental, their most successful movie of the 2020s decade, and deservedly so. Uh, like, uh, uh, thank goodness this movie got more love once Murder of Mouth got out that it's actually good as, uh, over time. Pixar uh, made uh, a uh, lover story. Pixar and Peter Son have uh, crafted a excellence uh, and uh, uh, and a powerful love story here, and uh, Peter Song is certainly. Uh, improved uh, since his days of uh, The Good Dinosaur. This movie and that movie are worlds between. <laughs> that storyline with Ember, how it's saying don't do what your parents want you to do, uh, you know, uh, pick your own path in life, and uh, that's why she picks her uh, to be with Wade and um, and build a glass uh, with, with her fire over running her parents' uh, shop and uh, steal the show being uh, one of my top five Pixar uh, songs now. I mean, yeah, yeah, steal the show. Uh, 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 uh. And Wade's near death towards the end will get you uh, crying uh, uh, get gallons of tears just like Wade and his family. It's like, don't take the one you love for granted. Uh, tell them you love them every single day because they could be gone in a moment. This was the recovery that Pixar needed after last year's uh, bomber. That uh, was a light year. So uh, I wish uh, Inside Out uh, 2 and uh, Elio uh, uh, in the future all, all the best. Oh. At number three, my favourite animated movie of the year, no contest to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, OMG, this movie is a mind-blowing animated masterpiece. It is the, it is the greatest uh, animated sequel, well, I have, uh, since uh, the House of Train Your Dragon sequels and Frozen 2, I mean, it is that, uh, uh, flawless and uh, it doesn't feel like an ana a modern animated movie it feels uh, like it takes uh, the Spider-Man source material as serious the live action ones do making it my favorite Spider-Man movie and the most ambitious one even uh, surpassing that of Into the Spider-Verse five years ago like uh, I mean Miles uh, 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 coming of age so much in this film making decisions are to uh, save his family but could impact uh, literally everything and every multiverse and now having to face a another Uncle Aaron and another version of himself in a electrifying uh, cliffhanger that uh, uh, will uh, have us uh, screaming for beyond the Spider-Verse and uh, uh, Gwen uh, is uh, the scene stealer here. Like uh, this is Haley Steinfeld's finest hour, and uh, yeah, her Gwen is um, no question the best of the Gwen Stacy's that we've ever had. In fact, uh, she feels like uh, the main uh, character uh, uh, at times, as uh, the movie opens with uh, her storyline uh, with. Uh, her facing the vulture and feeling responsible for her Peter's uh, death and uh, uh, yeah she's now leading the spider people uh, to go and find Miles and uh, love that Peter now uh, has a kid and uh, uh, M Miguel uh, was uh, a three-dimensional uh, character I mean uh, some could see him as the villain and others can uh, uh, see uh, really where he's coming from in all this and uh, and that one scene in this movie took four years to animate so uh, the 
so, so these animators are master classes of animation. The the team at Sony uh, you just uh, perfects uh, this uh, style of animation uh, that we've seen since uh, the, the Peanuts movie, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. If Across the Spider Verse doesn't win Best Animated Feature, then uh, I will be uh, totally speechless. <laughs> At number two, uh, Karma is my boyfriend, Karma is a cat curling in my lap. Taylor Swift, the era's tours. The fact that the single greatest uh, concert movie of all time released in October, my uh, birth month, uh, uh, was a true miracle. It couldn't have uh, released at a better time. In this uh, is uh, one trillion times better than Michael Jackson's This Is This, and like, uh, it's, uh, it just takes you through the hit eras of the uh, best uh, singer on the planet, Sir uh, Taylor. If you just want three hours of just uh, jamming along to uh, Taylor's uh, uh, hits, uh, then uh, this uh, movie uh, is uh, like... Uh, will be like your your church, your religion. Uh, my sister's fiance kindly uh, got me the uh, 1989 Taylor Swift album for Christmas, uh, which has only increased my love uh, of the era's tours even more. This uh, is uh, the concert movie that, uh, that uh, shows uh, you don't need much of a plot uh, uh, to uh, make a uh, three-hour movie uh, worthwhile. <laughs> And it would have been number one if not for uh, a certain movie coded in pink. And my number one favourite movie of 2023 is, uh, to nobody's uh, surprise, I do not even need to tell you what, what it is. I mean, as if I haven't been praising this movie for the past five months this year enough. Uh, Barbie, I... Barbie was my most anticipated movie of 2023 right from the beginning and uh, I'm uh, uh, overjoyed that uh, my most anticipated movie has turned out to be the best movie this year and as well as the highest grossing one, Greta Gerwig's Barbie is uh, beyond a uh, masterpiece. It uh, is a uh, uh, flat out uh, performance perfection uh, and uh, I mean it's uh, now uh, uh, tied with uh, The Lion King and How to Train Your Dragon Free The Hidden World as uh, my favourite movie uh, period and I've seen it practically 10 times now and uh, my uh, my love for it is still it is still uh, passionate so like uh, I uh, not only saw it four times in cinemas, including in IMAX, more times than I have seen any other movie on the big screen, but I have Barbie the album, I have uh, Barbie candy, I have a Margot Robbie uh, Dance the Night Barbie pop viral, I have these uh, uh, stunning Barbie magazines, which my good friend Paige Axe Perspective kindly got me for Christmas and my birthday, and I have a Barbie 2024 calendar. I mean, uh, you can see why this movie took over the freaking world this year. Like, uh, if you you would have, uh, you'd have to be uh, li living uh, uh, on uh, Pluto or something to uh, not to be aware of Barbie's existence. Like, uh, and. I mean, Margot Robbie and Greta Gerwig, they are the uh, best uh, powerhouse uh, 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 producer and actress and a director in Hollywood right now. And uh, uh, boy, was Margot right when she said this movie would make a billion dollars and everybody would enjoy at least something about it. I mean, if if you're a girl, you can love the female empowerment messages. Uh, if you're a guy, you can drool over Margot Robbie and all the uh, gorgeous uh, Barbies. Uh, and uh, and uh, the guys can even enjoy the Kens. Uh, and, uh, but uh, this is the uh, 
perfect uh, uh, gender equality movie showing uh, both uh, sides of society, how society would be run if it was all women in charge and how society would be run if it was all men in charge and showing both genders are equal and should run this world together and even outcasts like Weird Barbie and the Discontinued Barbies should have a voice too. Sarah Greenwood's production design is uh, electrifying and uh, uh, I mean Barbie Land is now uh, a cinematic world I would want to spend the rest of my life in and wish I had a Barbie dream house of my own or if uh, you'd rather a Mojo Dojo Casa house totally fine. The sound uh, track is a peak movie soundtracks with musical numbers like Lizzo's Pink, Darts the Nights, uh, Speed Drive, I'm Just Ken, and What Was I Made For uh, by the one and only Billie Eilish. Um, yeah, there's not a single song that won't either have you uh, dancing on your feet uh, on uncontrollably or, uh, or uh, uh, making you uh, cry uh, to your heart's uh, content. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, Margot Robbie gives uh, uh, the most electrifying performance she has ever given as stereotypical Barbie and uh, Ket Ryan Gosling is also gives the, the performance of his career as Ken and, and America Ferreira giving her uh, greatest performance since Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon and I and her mother and daughter storyliner with a Sasha is the one thing that Greta Gerwig always nails in her movies. That's why she has become my favourite filmmaker and the most inspirational one right now. But this movie, I think, spoke to uh, everybody because of this scene. It is literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful and so smart, and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. Like, we have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. <sighs> you have to be thin, but not too thin. And you can never say you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy, but also you have to be thin. You have to have money, but you can't ask for money because that's crass. <sighs> You have to be a boss, but you can't be mean. You have to lead, but you can't squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but don't talk about your kids all the damn time. You have to be a career woman, but also always be looking out for other people. You have to answer for men's bad behavior, which is insane, but if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. You're supposed to stay pretty for men, but not so pretty that you tempt them too much or that you threaten other women because you're supposed to be a part of the sisterhood, but always stand out and always be grateful. But never forget that the system is rigged, so find a way to acknowledge that, but also always be grateful. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard. It's too contradictory. And nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. James Cameron himself, uh, the king of the world, uh, uh, highly praised uh, uh, glorious speech like uh, uh, America uh, uh, nailed that speech after like 50 takes like uh, uh, like if, yeah if she gets snubbed of best supporting actress then that is just uh, that's a crime it, it really is uh, so uh, yeah I don't see any 2004, 24 movies are dethroning Barbie. This, uh, uh, I think Barbie for a great long while uh, could remain my favourite movie of the 2020s decades. If it does get dethroned, uh, then uh, I will be astonished. But I am proud to call Barbie my favourite movie of 2023. And uh, yes, uh, 2023 was the best year this decade for me, It was as it was the year I got to make my own movie, Moose on the Loose, and thank you all ever so much uh, for to all those who not only reviewed the movie, but uh, who uh, 
have watched it and uh, enjoyed it. I've had nothing but positive and lovely feedback from all those who have watched this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I after Moose on the Loose, I cannot wait to uh, work on even more projects in, in the future as an aspiring filmmaker as well. I love you guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 list. And what are your top 10 favourite movies of 2023? Uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow you on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time. And uh, stay tuned for uh, uh, the polar opposite list. The top 10 worst movies of 2023. Uh, my final video of 2023 uh, before it concludes. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.